Good morning, welcome to my morning healing class. This class starts with 15 minutes of light exercise and then 45 minutes of meditation and self-healing. So the idea is that uh, you can just skip forward if you don't want to do the exercises. Uh, otherwise, the exercises are very, very simple. It's the same exercise set that I use at the beginning of every class. Every exercise can be changed just to suit your own personal ability. And so just take it very easy with these exercises. Go very softly, very slowly. And uh, yeah, enjoy them. So the first one is called turning the waist. And so we just focus onto the belly, right into the core of the body. And we're just gently turning from the core of the body and looking back over our shoulder and around to the other side. There we go. Same again, just feeling into the body, seeing if there's anything that feels worrying, feels sore, feels that you might have to take care of it. And then you can gently release the spine and turn from side to side. Open the palms up, just let them tap gently onto the side of your body. Back of the hand taps gently onto the Ming Men gate, an acupuncture point on the small of your back. Forearms tap gently across the belly. Belly button is an acupuncture point called Du Chi. So as we turn from side to side, we're gently tapping these acupuncture points. On the palm of your hand, there's one called Lao Gung. Gently tapping all of these points, stimulating them. As we tap, we send a vibration through the belly. That just sends a vibration through your liver, through your spleen, through your kidneys, through your intestines. As we turn from side to side, the spine gently opens up. The shoulders, elbows and wrists gently move. In a moment, we'll do the neck as well to a bit more of a degree. But also you can feel your hips and you're moving, your knees are moving, your ankles move a little bit. So the whole body gets a gentle move. This moves the underlying energy in the body, your chi. The whole body gets a little workout from a very simple exercise like this, gets the energy flowing, gets the blood flowing. I do this exercise every day. Okay, so we're going to go into the second part of this exercise. Go a little bit slower now, but turn longer. Look back over your shoulders. Gently let the neck stretch too. Good, and then we let the whole exercise slow, 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 slow to a halt. Our body settles and relaxes, and just to calm and settle the body, we put our hands in the earth and we lift up a great ball of chi. And then we let it draw down through our bodies. 
So imagine flowing energy through your head, into your chest, all the way down to your belly. Gathering chi, lift chi up. Pouring chi down, drawing the energy through the body, deep inside. Once more, gather chi. And pour chi. Draw the chi deep into the core of your body, right into the belly. And let the hands relax. Chi connects downwards into the earth. Okay, so we twin the turning exercise with a kind of forward and back bend exercise. So take it nice and easy with these, just go as far as your back will let you. And then basically watch. So we take the hands up into the air and have a nice long stretch. And then we're just going to go taking the arms and ears over first. It's just obviously bends the neck. The body still stays quite straight. And then we can bend the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. And let the body relax down. Let the body sink and hang here. Just go down as far as you feel comfortable. Tuck in the tummy slightly. Let the body hang. Okay, good. So we extend softly towards our toes. Just a little stretch down toward the toes and then release. Imagine a line that's drawn between the roots of your toes. Gently stretch towards that line and release. Imagine a line that's drawn between your insteps. Gently stretch towards that line and release. And then finally, we stretch back toward the heels and we relax and release. Let the body hang down. Okay, lift the tailbone up behind. Gently push the tailbone forward toward the front. Roll the spine up. Take up the head and the arms and the ears all in one go. Stretch up. Release the knees and the hips gently forward and you can lean back. Up. And gently back. Up. And gently back. Up and gently back. Good, stretch hands up into the blue sky. We're gonna do some side bends as well. Let the left hand come down, open the right side of the body up. Allow the right hand to go down, open up on the left side of the body. Go down on the left side. and down on the right side. Good, draw hands up into the blue sky. So that's the entire bending set. Let's just do that again. So the arms and ears, they don't press together. They're quite far apart, but they coordinate. Coordinate the arms and ears. Roll into the upper back, into the middle back, into the lower back. Let the back just soften and relax. Let the back of the neck soften and relax. Whole body soften and relax and hang here. So our first extension takes us gently down towards the toes. And then release. In line with the roots of our toes. And release. In line with our insteps. And release. Heading back towards our heels in a nice deep bend. And relax and release, body hang. Lift the tailbone to point up behind you. Push the tailbone towards the front of the body and start to assemble the spine. Arms and ears gradually come up as one piece. Drawing up, stretching up, up into the blue sky. Release. The knees and the hips gently forward as you lean back. Stretching up and gently back. Stretching up and gently back. Stretching up and gently back. Hands up in the blue sky. 
Left hand curls down, right side of the body gently opens. Right hand curls down, left side of the body opening up. On the left. And on the right. Lift the hands up into the blue sky. Okay, so we're gonna go through the whole process again, but this time we're gonna go through with straight legs. So if we have straight legs, it just gives us a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. So the arms up into the blue sky, just tipping over the ears. But of course the legs are staying as straight as they possibly can. Gently down, relaxing down. Body hangs and relaxes. Tummy tucks, but the legs stay straight. So now if we shift the weight a tiny bit forward into the toes, we find a little hamstring stretch there. Make our first extension down toward the toes and release. Line with the roots of our toes and release. Toward our insteps and release. Back toward our heels and a deep bend. And relax and release, body hangs. Okay, so lift the tailbone up behind, push the tailbone gently to the front, start to roll the spine up, bring up the head and the arms and the ears in one piece, stretch up into the blue sky. Nice long stretch. Knees and hips drift forward as you gently lean backward up and gently back, up and gently back, up and gently back. Stretch up into the blue sky. Left hand curls down, right side of the body gently opens. Right hand down. Left side of the body gently opens. And on the left. And down on the right. Hands into the blue sky. Last time through the whole process. Stretching up into the blue sky. Arms and ears tip over on their own. Upper back. Middle back, lower back, the legs stay straight if possible. Nice hamstring stretch to let the body relax down. First extension takes us down towards our toes and release. In line with the roots of our toes. And release. Toward our insteps. And release. Toward our heels, deep bend. Relax and release. Body just hangs. Lift the tailbone to point up behind. Push the tailbone to the front of the body. Start to roll the spine up. Bring up the head and the arms and the ears as one piece. Stretch up into the blue sky. Nice long stretch. Releasing the knees and the hips forward as you lean back. Up. Gently lean back. Up. Gently back. And up. Last time. Back. And up. Left hand. Curls down, right side of the body opens up. Right hand curls down, left side of the body gently opens. Down the left. And down the right. Stretch the hands up into the blue sky. Nice long stretch up. This time we just gently release our hands down, 
drifting the hands down. As the hands move down, the chi kind of settles inside the body. And then we can settle ourselves further. So if any of those forward bends have made you feel, feel a bit dizzy, just imagine the hands in the earth lift chi up. And gently pour the chi down. Draw the chi deep inside. Gathering, lifting. Pour chi down. Last time. You can keep going with this if you wish, but I normally just do it about three times just to get myself back into balance. And then we can gather the chi to the belly. So just lift up. And when you pour down, just focus everything into the core of the belly. And we can let the hands settle on top of the belly button. Let the whole body relax. Go deep inside. Imagine your mind behind your hands, deep in the core of your belly. When you put your mind in your belly and all of the energy starts to gather there, it's where the mind goes, the chi follows. So imagine ourselves, the our mind behind our hands, behind the belly button, deep inside. And as we do so, this attracts chi to gather in this area. The more chi we have deep inside lower down tien, the more chi we have to heal ourselves. So this standing posture is all about gathering and healing chi. Okay, so today's meditation. I'm going to stand through today's meditation. Knees gently bent, tailbone softly moving forwards, spine long, chin gently drawn backwards, chest soft and relaxed. But that's fine. If you wish to sit, there's no problem. If you want to lie down, no problem at all. These visualizations can be done however you wish. The idea of the standing posture is that it really helps to gather healing chi into the body, but it just depends on where you're at energetically. So if you want to sit, there's no problem. If you want to lie down, no problem, just listen. Let the whole body be relaxed. It's impossible to do qigong when you're feeling tense. Let the mind be quiet. It's impossible to qigong if you're to do qigong if your mind is raging off somewhere else or chewing over problems. Relax the mind, relax the body. Calm the mind. Feel your connection. Imagine the feet how you connect down into the earth below you, how the earth below connects up into you. Heavens above, chi pouring down into your body. You connected up into the blue sky, your connection to nature all around you. Everything in nature is chi. We feel very separate from this. How about allowing ourselves to gently relax and connect? Rather than feeling that you're alone, single, stuck inside this body, trapped inside this world that doesn't seem to be working properly, or trapped inside this body that doesn't seem to be working properly. When in fact, you're actually connected into a beautiful chi field, chi all around you, chi inside you, the whole of our universe is chi. 
Perhaps there's just some blockages that need to be open. Perhaps there's just some ideas that create patterns that just need to be relaxed. These old bad habits that no longer help you just need to be softened and let go of. So just as we stand here, think about you. Think about your grandparents. Think about your mum and dad. Think about the stories that you gathered from them. Not your stories, their stories. As you were growing up, think about school, the stories they told you. Think about society, the things that you had to take on for society's sake. Think about religion, the things you were told to believe. Is that who you are? Are any of those who you really are? Other people's information, information given to you by your partners, by your work colleagues, by your children. Think about that information. Is any of it really you? Think about information given to you by your doctors. Think about information that you have told yourself. I am this, I am that. Some of the information you give yourself is good. Some of it's very bad. There's that old joke that says, the way you talk to yourself, if a friend talked to you like that, they wouldn't last as a friend for very long. This is the information we give to ourselves. Is that who you really are? Truly, at the deepest, deepest level, is that really who you are? Are any of these things who you really are? truly are. Your true self lies at the bottom of all of this, covered over with layers and layers of stories. Layers and layers of rubbish. Layers and layers of other people's information that has been given to you. Sometimes I think about the image of a Christmas tree when it comes into the house, beautiful virgin pine tree, nothing on it at all. And then you start to hang on tinsel and baubles and more baubles and candles and chocolates. And eventually your tree is then presents. Your tree is kind of drooping under the weight of all of these things you've hung on it. None of them are actually your beautiful tree. They're just garish adornments to be added. Think of yourself in terms of that, pure, perfect. And yet we add so much rubbish to our lives. We take on so much rubbish from other people. How would it be if you just let go of those stories? Let go of the things your mum and dad told you. Let go of the things that society, school, politics, doctors, religion. How would it be if you put all those things down just for a little while? How would it be if you put down the stories you tell yourself just for a little while? Just allow yourself to be your true self just for a little while without any of those artifices, without any of those stories, just a perfect, pure version of you. So when we return ourselves to our pure, true self, then we have the ability to bring about real change in our lives, bring about real healing in our lives. From this 
true self state, we can look at problems in our lives and just let them dissolve. So what's going to be your choice today? What are you going to work with today? Perhaps something instantly comes to mind. Perhaps you're working with something as obvious as your kidneys or your ankles. That's great. So you have something you want to work with. But perhaps there are bigger problems. A relationship with your sister, your brother, a relationship with your children relationship with a lover, whatever it might be, your relationship to something, alcohol, work, whatever it might be. What we're doing here is we're just thinking about changing that relationship. In Jnan Qigong, we use a very simple tool. It's called La Chi. You just hold a ball in front of your belly. So you can let your hands come in front and hold a ball, just about the size of a football. Just imagine, let's say, this ball contains the problem you're thinking of. Let's say, a relationship with someone. When you move your hands apart, it doesn't have to be far, you know, just six inches, 12 inches, opening. You just imagine all those problems gently dissolving. When you bring your hands back together to reform the original ball, you bring healing in to change and solve that problem. And then just let the whole thing gently dissolve, let the ball dissolve, and bring the hands back and gather energy in to heal. So now there's only one codicil to this little exercise. What's the point in harping on about that problem? What's the point in constantly reinforcing that problem? So the first time we think, I have a problem with my, you know, fill in the blanks and dissolve that problem. And now I'm going to bring back huge amounts of healing into my life to solve that problem. Let's just dissolve all problem relationships, bring back amazing healing. And then after having initially got the idea going, all we need to do is just let the ball dissolve out into the universe bring back huge, great big healing into our lives. We don't have to be specific. We don't have to say the problem I have with John, because if we keep on saying the problem I have with John, then that's reinforcing the issue. So we just gently let all problems dissolve. We bring back healing energy to fix the problem. So we're gonna start off with the idea of dissolving a particular problem, a challenge. Perhaps it's something within your life. And as we work with that, we're just going to spend two or three minutes, five minutes getting used to using La Chi exercise, healing exercise. And then after that, we're going to start being very specific. We're going to work on our internal organs. Five different organs in the body. The five major ones being the heart, spleen, spleen pancreas, lungs, kidneys, and liver. So when we get to those, we're just going to work on the five major organs. And the kind of idea in Chinese medicine is that if you bring lots of energy and bring lots of balance to these incredible organs, that they will naturally bring about healing in the rest of the body. So let's first of all work a little lachi with our specific problems. So think of something you'd like to work with, somewhere in your body you'd like to work with, some emotional problem you'd like to work with. And we're going to open our hands and use the Chinese word kai. So kai is open. It also has the idea of dissolve, let go. Then we use the Chinese word her to close. Uh, her means close, but it also means reform, bring back, gather in. So Kai lets go and dissolves, and her brings back healing energy. 
Let's try that a few times. your problem yours was dissolves out into the vastness of the universe uh... we draw the vast resource of the universe back in to heal this tiny problem we have oh. Everything opens, dissolve, let go. Uh... Yeah, the chi deep inside the body to heal. Just pause for a moment. Let's think about the logic of la chi. Imagining dissolving your problem, bringing back fresh healing energy into it. What can you actually do with a problem, with past programming, with things that have happened in your past? The only thing you can change is your relationship to them. So if you've been feeling cross and upset about something, if your body has ended up feeling unwell because you're unhappy, then what we're doing here is changing our relationship to that pattern, to that illness. We're just letting go of it. We're acknowledging that it's served us, that it's helped us, and now we can let it dissolve. And then when we bring back healing energy, what is that healing energy? It's just love, unconditional love, pouring into your life to take the place of the anger, the sadness, whatever it might be that you're working with. So just think on those ideas that we can't actually physically change anything. We can only solve ourselves. So if we change our relationship to how we feel about a thing, then everything else changes. So if you've been feeling upset about what's happening to your body, or if you've been feeling upset about relationship with someone else, we just dissolve it, just let go, just open up, just imagine it going, dissolving back out into the universe, changing. And then as we bring our hands back together again, we're actually gathering in healing energy to take the place of the problems. Brand new healing chi changing the way you think about yourself and the way you react to the problems around you. Let's do a few more. Open the hands. Bringing the healing energy back inside. Oh. 
Let go, let go, let go. Just a couple more. Last time. Uh, as you stand here holding this board of G or sit here holding this board of G, just imagine all the healing energy you've poured into your life, all of the healing energy you've given your body all of the healing energy you've used to change your ideas and feelings. Just know that radical change is afoot. You've poured all this chi in, and now real change can come about. So now we're going to work on some organ sounds. Each organ has a sound that goes with it. And because it's summertime for me, we're gonna start with the heart. The heart sound is just ha. So the idea is that we're just going to say ha three times and let the heart vibrate. We can gently then do la chi afterwards just to dissolve all the problems of the heart and bring back perfect healing energy. Let's just do the heart tone heart three times. Breathing in. Ah. I'm tempted to bring my hands up in front of my heart. Gently breathing in. Ah. Breathing in. Ah. So now we're going to revert to our Kai and her. When you open with Kai, just imagine all your heart problems dissolving. When you have her, you imagine great chi pouring inside your heart. So here we go. Ah. Ah. Healing chi goes deep inside the heart. Ah. 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 Healing chi, deep inside. So next in the cycle, we think about spleen pancreas. It lives on the left-hand side, just underneath your ribs. So the spleen has a, a tone that's hoo, like W-H-O, and then ooh. So just say the spleen tone three times just to stimulate our spleen. 
breath in. Then Gently breathing in for who? Gently breathing in for who? who? We're going to do Kai and her. So we say Kai, imagine the spleen and all of its digestive problems dissolving, and her bringing back huge healing energy into the digestive and spleen system. Kai and her. Spleen dissolves, all spleen problems dissolve, digestive problems. Uh, poor healing chi deep inside the digestive system. Uh, Imagine everything working well deep inside your spleen. All functions of the spleen and digestive system working really well. So next in the cycle comes lungs. We're going to work with our lungs, dissolving the chi of the lungs and all the emotions that go with it and bringing back great healing energy. So we're going to say the lung tone is hissing through your teeth like a snake. Take a breath in. And nicely vibrates the lungs deep inside. Breathing in to release problems with the lungs. Then saying Last time, breathing in, healing our lungs. Okay, so gently, now we're going to do La Chi, imagining our lungs and all the lung problems dissolving out into the blue sky bringing the hands back together and bringing healing deep inside our whole breathing respiratory system. So open the hands with Kai. Kai. Bringing healing deep into our respiratory system with her. Uh.
Uh, healing deep inside the respiratory system, healing deep inside the lungs. Next on our list is kidneys. Kidneys around the back, lower back. Kidney sound is a curious one. Chew, C-H-E-W, and then E afterwards. So you hit that kind of plosive, chew, E, like a sneeze, and then E afterwards. And chew makes your kidneys jump in a very pleasing way, and then E makes them vibrate. So we'll just say kidney sound three times. It's going to dissolve all the kidney problems, dissolve all the bladder problems, dissolve the urinary problems, also sexual problems as well. Take a breath in. Chewy. Chew. Chewy. Deep breath in. Chew. So now we do Kai and her to dissolve our kidneys, dissolve all kidney problems, kidney stones, and then let perfect healing come back inside the kidney system, the bladder system, inside the sexual organs, inside the urinary system. Let's do chi to dissolve the kidneys. Calm. And her. healing chi deep inside. Kai dissolves the kidney problems. Oh. Uh, brings great chi and healing chi back into the urinary system. Oh. Last time. kidneys working well, strong. All of the problems dissolve. So the final place we go to is liver. It sits on the right hand side, just under your ribs. Liver chi and liver and gallbladder are partners in Chinese medicine. So gallstones, liver stones, any liver function, the blood, blood function, we can heal it all with our liver. So the liver has its own tone as well, which is shu. S H U U U U U Shu. Let's do three liver turns then. So take the breath in. We say Shu. Shu. Breathing in. Breathing in. Shoo. 
the liver problems. We're just going to dissolve them using Kaya and Her. As we open our hands, the liver just gently dissolves. Bring our hands back together. We have healing deep inside our liver and gallbladder using Kaya and Her. Bring healing deep inside your liver. Oh. Once more, Kai and her. Oh. Dissolving liver and gallbladder problems, blood problems. Uh, 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 Gentle breathing. So you work through all the major organs in the body, dissolving all the problems, bringing back healing. And the major organs are well, all of the rest of the body thrives. All the minor organs work well. All the organ systems flow well. Blood and chi course as well through your body. Your body is open and flowing. All of the old illnesses, all the old patterns dissolved and gone. You rebuilt. Brand new. And there's one last tone we can use, which is just she. And she just balances everything out, brings about complete healing, complete balance. Breathe in. And then we say she. She. She vibrates throughout the whole body, releasing and relaxing. She breathing in. She. Breath in. She. Final breath. She. Oh, body relaxes. Nice, gentle breathing. If you have a little ball in front of you still, you can gently bring it back onto your belly. Just hold this ball, fingertips slightly touching, ball centered over your belly button. It's as if all this amazing chi you've gathered, you can just draw deep inside. To close out, we can just bring our feet together. It's called step on chi moving your feet, heel and toe back to the center and bring your hands into the prayer position. 
Let's finish our exercise with a simple move. Let's bring our hands up in front of the face, up over the top of the head, stretch up into the blue sky. And then we just open up little fingers, ring fingers, middle fingers, and let the hands come down to shoulder height. Gather a beautiful ball of chi round in front, and then just send the energy deep inside your brain. Imagine your brain working well. Every cell in your brain, perfect working order. All functions of your brain, strong, clear. Drift the hands down and just bring them to touch underneath your armpits. Middle finger touches an acupuncture point there called Dabao. Just imagine chi flowing into this middle energy field, supplying chi for your heart and lungs, spleen, pancreas, liver, kidneys. We just drift the hands backwards, and then the back of the hands move forwards, turn the palms over, take a wave of chi out into the blue sky, and then bring some chi back for your belly. Left hand first for the guys, right hand first for ladies. Just imagine this beautiful big ball of chi, squeeze it into the belly, holding all this amazing energy deep inside, storing this chi, holding this chi. Lower dantian, chi is abundant. Blood and chi flow well through your whole body. All functions of your body returning to perfect working order. All functions normal. Just feel that idea. All functions normal. Everything returns to perfect working order. Put a big smile on your face. As you stand here, just imagine your Wei Chi layer. So this is a layer of Chi around your skin, like sort of an inch coating all the way around your body, a protective shield of Chi. It's called your Wei Chi layer, protects you. And then round, about a meter above you, in front of you, behind you, below, left, right, your Chi body like a beautiful bubble of chi protecting you. So as you stand here, you imagine yourself, your weight chi layer protecting you, your bubble of chi, and inside you, a being of light, every cell in your body working well, all functions of your body returned to perfect working order. All functions of your body, normal. All functions, normal. Everything returns to perfect working order. Big smile on your face. Slowly open your eyes. Release your hands. We just give the fingers a little move, give the toes a little move. If you'd like to stretch anything out, be very careful. Don't go too quickly. If you stand up too quickly, you can make yourself feel very dizzy. So if you decide to do a forward bend, just come up very slowly, very gingerly. Whole body relaxes. We open our eyes. Ah, so to finish, we always say how la. So how la is hands up in the air. And we shout one, two, how la. How la means good already. Everything is already sorted. So bring the hands up in the air. One, two, how la. One, two, how. Last time. One, two, ha. Hola. Oh, very good. So then we just have a little salute for each other. The right hand comes up, the left hand goes down. You lay the fingers on top of each other, and then you pull the fingers together, put the thumb on either end. This is the Jeneng Chigung salute. Thank you very much for being here today. I'm going to put this up onto YouTube. Please share with all your friends, spread it around the world. And uh, 